Hey everyone, welcome back to our React Query or TenStack Query. So today, before we move forward to mutation, we will do some unit tests and we will try to unit test the first example we did. And in the next video, we will unit test the actual second example. So the first example used the use query to fetch our API. The second demo we did was using the use queries. Okay, so today let's start by unit testing a component which is using use query. So first thing we have to mock actually our use query hook. So what I have done in my setup test, I just created a mock here for me. Okay. So I created a use query same as the hook and set it to just a function that I export it. Okay. That's first thing. Now we go back to our test file. Then we had to add some mock there as well. So I'll just copy and paste and explain. So all what I did, I said just dot mock. So I pointed to our 10 stack react query. Okay. And then I said use query just dot fn. Okay. So up to now, I'm just mocking my use query hook so I can use it for my unit test. Now I will go and import our testing library. So import render that will help me to render my components in just DOM and screen so I can access my elements from and we are using the react testing library of course now next thing we do is that we have to import our um, component that we want to test so import to do this from and we are in the same level okay that's my compass i'm testing so import from dot slash index okay now let's start writing our unit test so describe describe testing my to do to do list component okay so i have to give description and first thing you have to do is uh i need because i'm writing running some mock text in all my tests so I need to clear off all these tests after every test is completing. Okay. So they don't over uh, load on each other. So I have to do after each take an arrow function and all what you'll do there will do just reset all marks. Okay. That's it. Now we will go and write our first test. So it displays the loading state okay so that's the first thing i want to test is that when we are fetching that we are displaying the loading message okay now how we can test test so of course we will have a sync call so i need a sync test and first thing we have to mock our use query call okay and with the returned values so all what we are doing is that we are returning the fetch status as loading, okay? And you remember we said this is pending, it read that status for us. So now we can render our component, render, and also to do list, that's my component. Now I'll put my assertion, okay? Which is expect that my screen will get an element by text, get by, text and remember we displayed loading in case your query is still fetching so i need to find a text by loading okay and that needs to be in the document so to be to be in the document oh my spam got it right this time there we go let's save this and let's run our npm test and let's see if this is working and my test fell and says use query is not defined. And of course I mocked it, but I have to import it as well from the library itself. So I will do that right now and save. And let's see if our test will pass. And it's still failing. And this time of course it's just because of my Visual Studio code. So this one should be expect. Okay, I don't know what thing was added there. Save. And there we go, it works, great. So easy as this, very quick, very easy one. Same logic we can follow for others, uh, like for error state, we can do for data. So let's do it actually together. So the next one, I want to test the error. So it, 
and I will say displays the error displays the error state okay and this one also to be a sync test because we have a sync where is going on and of course I have to mock the value return of my query so I'll just paste it right there and here well, what we have done is that we make the fish status as error and the error it have a message okay and that message have failed to fetch okay and now if you remember our code what we have done is when the error is there we're displaying that error message so to test it we have to say okay i need to find in my document that error message simple as that okay now i'll do exactly the same thing as here so i'll just copy that one paste it right here and only this thing will be different now which will be failed to fetch save and let's see if this will work and yes to pass test now let's test the third scenario when we get data back so it displays to do's data and this one also will be an async test of course and I will mock uh, the query code with values but this time we're saying first status is success and then we're just passing one data back okay now again same thing we just have to uh, render our component and we have to find this test to do in our document so I'll just put this one here and save so you can see the unit test manager sounds scary, but as soon you get the contest and the ideas and you really you know how your component works, then it is really straightforward approach. Now in next video, we'll see how we can uh, unit test the use queries hook.